So I had a commenter point out that if a token has um, multiple characters controlling it, so if we look at Cassandra's character sheet here, if she has more than one player controlling her, and we try to summon the spiritual weapon, that it doesn't work. That we'll come in here and we'll get one of those scary red errors. So let's take a look at what's happening here. Right now, what we're doing is getting a reference to our character. That's what's happening here. We're finding out who the token represents, and then we're figuring out what player controls that character by getting the character get controlled by property. So let's take a look at what that property is actually doing. If we go to the documentation, all right, here's the graphic documentation which applies to tokens, maps, and so on, you'll see that controlled by returns a comma delimited list of player IDs, which means that if there are two players who can control the token, you're going to get a comma separated list. It'll be player one comma player two. And so when the script tries to get a reference to the player, it's trying to get a reference to player one comma player two, and that's failing. So that's what's causing this issue here. So what we're going to do is tweak a couple of lines of the script here so that we can just you know keep going. So what I'm going to do is actually remove this line right here, remove the var player line. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to say var player list equals character dot get controlled by. And then we're going to change controlled by player get ID to controlled by player list. So what we're saying here is now get me the list of all the players who are controlling this object and then put that down here. So now when we save the script, we go back into our game, we'll highlight Cassandra again. Again, Cassandra still has two players controlling her, right? So let's summon that spiritual weapon again. And boom, now we see it works. And when we open it up, we see it's controlled by both those players. So that's the tweak that you can make if you will have multiple players controlling this token. And I have updated my source code out on GitHub so that it reflects this change as well. And thank you, Scotty, for finding that in the last video. I appreciate it. And again, everyone, if, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you'd like me to make more like this, please uh, put a note in the comments, sound off. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and have a great night.